Hey guys, so this is Nirmal here for Technique and today we will share some of the tips and tricks you can do on the Samsung Galaxy Grand Prime. So Samsung Galaxy Grand Prime is a mid-range phone which competes with uh, the Lumia 730, the Moto G and also the Asus Zenfone 5. So we did a detailed review of this device so if you are looking for the review you can check out the description in this video to see the uh, review link. So we also reviewed the camera, also tested the gaming performance, the benchmarks and quite a lot of videos we have done on this device. Now we will uh, show you some of the tips and tricks you can do on this device. So now let's start the tips and tricks. So first up let's see the lock screen. So you can see the lock screen has a simple uh, uh, unlock mechanism that you just swipe on uh, the screen to unlock it now you can see here there is a camera icon at the bottom so by default this has a camera icon so what it does is if you press then hold the camera and the swipe uh, it will directly open the camera interface so that's uh, pretty easy to uh, access the camera in case you want to quickly shoot uh, photos so that's one uh, good option in the lock screen now let's go to the customization part the wallpapers and the widgets so here you can customize uh, the wallpapers and uh, add widgets to the uh, home screen. So just press and hold this uh, anywhere on the uh, vacant area and you can see the option called wallpapers and widgets. So you can select wallpapers for the home screen, lock screen as well as both home screen and lock screen. You can select widgets uh, from the installed list of widgets, uh, apps which support widgets. So that can be done from here. Another option, another way to access the wallpapers is just press and hold the multitasking option and you will just see the wallpapers and the widgets. So that's uh, pretty easy. Uh, you can also uh, manage the home screens from here. So that was the customization part. Now let's see the multitasking aspect. So if you press, you can see the multitasking button here. So if you press this multitasking option, you can see the list of running apps. So you can just swipe a particular app uh, and close it. That's pretty common uh, way to close it. So here you can see a small icon. This is to close all running apps in one go. So if you press here, it will close all the background running apps. So that's uh, easy instead of swiping uh, each app which is running in the background. So that's uh, one good thing about the multitasking window. Now let's go to the app drawer. So you can see this is the app drawer. Here you have a lot of options to do. So first step, let's click these three dots. So you can see there are certain uh, options available here. So these options are uh, one is edit. So if you click edit, uh, you can edit uh, the uh, the app drawer and also move the icons and other stuffs. So let's go back. Now second option is uh, view as. So you can see here uh, in the view as menu, you have the custom view. That is uh, uh, the default view. You can also sort alphabetical order. So the apps will be sorted based on the alphabetical order. So that's uh, another uh, tool. Uh, you can also see which all apps you have downloaded. So if you go to the downloaded list, it will show you all the apps which you have downloaded. Uh, the core apps which uh, came with this device will not be shown here. Then uh, if you go here, you can see the uninstall option. So click here and you can uninstall a particular app. Say so for example, I'll just show you this is how you uninstall on a particular app. So this is just gone. So that's pretty easy option. Next uh, you have, if you go to the main screen, you have the uninstall or disable app. So you can see here the option to uninstall app so particular app first just click here it will be uninstalled from here so that's a pretty easy option to uninstall then again you have the option to hide apps so if you don't want the particular apps to show up say for example i'll just hide the anti to benchmarking and also the asphalt um, so now i selected two apps just click done and you can see those two apps are uh, removed from the app drawer so in case you are giving a phone to somebody else you can just hide uh, the local apps, I mean the personal apps like the Facebook, Twitter or email and it will not be shown to the other user unless they, unless they go and unhide this option. So if you want to unhide the apps, you can see, you can go show hidden apps. So you can just select and done. So now it will be back. So that's how you uh, hide and unhide the apps. Apart from that, you also have uh, the option to uh, disable apps that we have showed uh, previously. So these are the options in the app drawer. Now let's go to the settings. So in the settings, there are a couple of uh, things, interesting thing. One is the screen mirroring. So you can see here a uh, screen mirroring option. So what it does is you can project the screen on the Samsung Galaxy Grand Prime to other external displays or even uh, TV, uh, Wi-Fi enabled TV. So you can see here uh, the screen uh, mirroring will search for Wi-Fi enabled devices. And once you have enabled other device uh, to connect to uh, this phone you can see this uh, list available here from here you can connect to uh, those devices so that's one uh, really good option so in case uh, you're showing some presentation or photos uh, on big screen this is really good option to have so you can just turn on from there 
next step let's go to the lock screen so here you have uh, we already showed you the camera icon on the lock screen so you can see here if you don't want the camera icon to uh, be shown on the lock screen you can just disable this uh, by clicking this uh, checkbox so this is disabled now you can also disable the show date uh, can enable a uh, dual clock owner information is again disabled uh, then uh, apart from that you also have unlocking effect so again uh, we just showed you the effect now he here we have an option to select the effect you can select none then there is tone skipping there is also tension so these are the three effects available for unlocking so that's uh, the unlock mode then if you go to the battery you can uh, just enable the battery percentage so we, we have already enabled the battery percentage here so if you uncheck this battery percentage will not be displayed in the status bar so that's um, the battery percentage then you have the ultra power saving mode so this is uh, something like a really good option to have on a smartphone what it does is it saves battery power by using minimal home screen layout and limiting the number of usable apps so at, at any point of time if you if you're running out of battery and if, you, if it's going to low battery what you can do is you can enable the ultra power saving mode and estimated maximum standby time of the device is increased so a lot of apps will be disabled and also uh, minimal minimalistic home screen layout will be available so that's one really good option to have this was uh, initially debuted on uh, the samsung galaxy s5 and now it's available in the grand prime as well so this is really good option if you're running out of battery on this device if you go to the about device uh, if you want uh, to enable uh, developer mode you can do it from here just tap this uh, build number a couple of times you can see now you are one step away from being a developer and finally we'll say it's developer now you are developer so you can see the developer options so enable this only in case you are, you, you are a real developer and you need these options unless uh, you are a developer it's advisable not to enable these options so that's uh, one another option now let's go to the camera that's the, the we have few options so here we have uh, this is the camera interface we talked about this camera interface a lot of times so this is a beautiful cam camera interface so you can see here the left side you have a couple of options one is the front facing camera and then second is the settings now here we have the flash option so another good thing is that if you click the settings it will open uh, uh, the options menu so this options menu has uh, one important aspect so if you want if you access any of these settings uh, pretty frequently you can actually uh, drag and drop this option to uh, the sidebar say for example you're using uh, the fx uh, uh, a lot of times what you can do is just press and hold the fx and then drag on to this area so you can see here now i have uh, enabled fx in the sidebar you can uh, you can uh, maximum you can enable three options so, so we have two right now one is a flash and one is fx so let's add one more so uh, for example we'll just add timer so we have added uh, three options now you cannot if you want to add one more you need to remove some of them so this is one good option so now we have uh, uh, the fx um, the timer and the flash on the sidebar if you want more uh, you just say for example i'll just change this so when i change it now uh, it will get replaced with the older one so that's one really good option if based on whatever feature you use you can customize the camera uh, interface uh, so that was um, another tip uh, we can do on the camera interface so these were some other tips and tricks you could do on the Samsung Galaxy Grand Prime, a really good uh, performing mid-range device. So don't forget to check out our detailed review of this device. I uh, hope you like this video. If you have any specific queries on this video, just drop a comment and we'll be glad to help you out with your queries. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. Also subscribe to our YouTube channel for more updates and thanks for watching this video.